Hello, I'm Vanessa and I run several jewelry courses in London and today we're going to make some jewelry. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make beaded charms. To begin with, you will need a set of pliers, square nose pliers, which is also called a flat nose pliers, side cutters for cutting your head pins, round nose pliers, and a needle nose pliers, which is also called a chain nose pliers. You will also need some jump rings, these little links. I have oval ones, you can also get them in round, head pins, and some beads. I'm using semi-precious stones, a variety of colors and sizes. The first step is take your head pin and thread in one of your beads. You will now need the round nose pliers. Position the bead in the head pin in between the nose of your pliers. If you have the pliers straight sitting in your hand, looking straight out in front of you, you should have your bead on the right hand side. It makes it a little bit easier to start off. The first step is you press the wire underneath your pliers. Now I'm going to change hands so that I'm using my right hand to actually wrap the wire around the top of the bead. I'm going to use the needle nose pliers Pull this bead tightly and I'm making a spiral above the bead, going very slowly. Each spiral I make, try to make it so that it's tight above the one that you've made previous. And you might find that your wire, the end of your wire, will get a little bit mangled up. You can straighten that out with your pliers. This technique will take quite a bit of practice. I've reached the end of the bead. I'm going to use the side cutters to trim away the extra wire. Try to have the blade pointing towards the bead so that you can cut away as much of the, plier, of the wire as possible. I'm now going to use the needle nose pliers to tuck in the end of the bead. Sorry, the end of the wire. And use the round nose pliers to straighten out the loop. I put the pliers inside the loop and straighten them out. And use the flat nose pliers to tidy it up. You can make several of these and then attach them to your necklace. And that's how to make a beaded charm.